At the end of the trail of raven corpses was Zenobia. Her father was frantically rigging a strange apparatus wrapped around a glowing core. Don't do it, he shouted. You'll hate yourself in the morning. Stay back, she screamed in a horrible voice he'd never heard before. It froze him in his tracks. The emperor stared at him. Run, he told the toad, or hop. But he didn't manage to voice it, only think it. Zenobia stabbed her blade forward, and his majesty fell dead. She began laughing hysterically. Or was she weeping? Just walk away, she laughed at him. I've no more use for you. There was something he needed to do, but he couldn't figure out what it was. So he did as he was told. As he walked away, he felt a chill in the world. The light in the sky seemed to dim. He didn't dare turn. He had a nagging feeling there was something he should have done just then. Something heroic. But he could not have taken the Iblis stone from her by force. And she would not have parted with it willingly. A cold wind blew from where she had been. But he still didn't dare turn. And then, an awful laughter filled the air. And all the torches and all the ships went out. And he realized what he should have done. But by then, it was too late to do anything. Oh, damn it. He lost again and died. But there was burning Uba behind him. He still had all his destinies ahead of him. But he'd learned another true thing. Zenobia still had feelings for him.